I've reported recently on the incredible innovation of wireless electric car charging, not just for cars, trucks, buses, everything electric. People thought oh, it must be very efficient, but it turns out wireless charging can actually be very efficient. In fact, as much as 90%, which is incredible. But generally, so far what we've seen is wireless charging is slower than wired charging. Does that matter though, if the wireless charging is capable of 500 kilowatt speeds? No, it doesn't matter if there's a small loss if you're charging at that speed. You know, a lot of us, we don't think that wireless charging is going to take off. It's not really going to work. I mean, you know, really, is it practical? Well, it could be. I've made the point here a few times. If you put it in places where cars are sitting for a long time, in gridlock streets, it might make sense. And that's what's being done at the moment in a few different countries around the world including recently in Japan. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. A new company has created a 500 kilowatt ultra fast wireless EV charging system. It could charge a battery pack in around 10 minutes. So if you were sitting in a gridlock for, say, 10 minutes in one relatively small location, say in a, I don't know, two or 300 meter distance. So if you, your vehicle only traveled a short distance in 10 minutes, you could potentially charge your, your car completely. Well, not completely, but up to 80% in around 10 minutes. Is this the future? It very well could be. Revolutionizing electric vehicle charging, in particular electric truck charging, um, Wave Charging's 500 kilowatt system achieves a full charge in less than 15 minutes, they say. Now, Wave Charging is a subsidiary of Ideonomics, and they announced a more than an incredible technological innovation with 500 kilowatt ultra fast charging. This new innovative system, developed in collaboration with Cummins and the US Department of Energy, who have contributed financially, can revolutionize electric trucking by significantly reducing charging times. Not just electric trucking though. I mean, this technology could be used for EVs as well. In a series of successful tests, the 500 kilowatt charger demonstrated its capacity or ability to fully charge a class eight or semi electric truck in less than 15 minutes, which is just insane. I mean, proponents of hydrogen who say that electric trucks are never going to work, they say they're too, too slow to charge. Uh, is 15 minutes too slow? Now, this is only 500 kilowatt charging. We know that electric trucking now, they have megawatt charges, which is 1000 kilowatt, but there's also charges being deployed now that have 1.3 megawatts. Yeah, you can see how charging speeds are not really going to be an issue in the future. To put this into perspective though, a typical household in America consumes around 30 kilowatt hours of electricity daily. Now I know yours might use less or more, but that's the average. The 500 kilowatt charger could provide a day's energy to a home in just 3.6 minutes. That's insane. In collaboration with Cummins Inc, Venture Logistics and the US Department of Energy, Wave Charging plans to deploy and demonstrate the 500 kilowatt wireless inductive charger at a Venture Logistics facility in the Midwest. The deployment scheduled for Q1 2024 is supported by an $8.4 million grant from the US Department of Energy. In other words, yeah, the US government is, they're actually supporting financially lots of different businesses who are working on this kind of thing, fast charging. And the cool thing is here, guys, nearly everything we hear about in terms of EV innovations coming from China, but they don't have 500 kilowatt fast charging that is wireless yet. So that's nice. At least there's one first for you guys in America. The deployment of the Wave 500 kilowatt charger is part of a larger consortium project aimed at helping operators achieve zero emission growth, zero emissions goals with minimal disruption. So, I mean, if there was 500 kilowatt wireless charging in streets, in depots, places where trucks just sit, you know, truck drivers might sit there and sleep, or potentially in roads that are really busy, this could actually definitely make electric trucking for long haul trucking, but not just long haul, but you know, EV, EVs in general, it'd have them much easier to 
disrupt internal combustion. This initiative will improve air quality in and around ports, warehouses, and distribution centers. So having electric trucks in these locations really matters. We know this because, for example, cancer rates in the fire brigade, so firefighters in America have much higher rates of cancer, much, much higher than the general population. The reason for that is diesel trucks. Usually what firefighters do, they turn their diesel truck on as the gates are opening and the gates take a while to open, but before that happens, um, they send a bunch of diesel fumes through the fire station, and everyone's been breathing that in for decades, and that's been killing them. Yeah, that in combination with sometimes sleep deprivation, it's a shocking a shocking combination. So if electric trucks, electric fiber grade trucks, you know, electric fire trucks, the quicker that those, well, become a reality in as many locations as possible, the sooner people have better health outcomes. With more than 12 million medium and heavy duty trucks relying on polluting combustion engines in America alone, the urgency to transition to zero emissions battery electric trucks, buses, and cars is, well, it's pretty clear. And now we know from information from the World Health Organization recently that a lot of our health problems are coming from pollution from vehicles in particular, much more so than what's coming from, say, power plants. The Inflation Reduction Act is providing over $75 billion in programs and tax credits for electrification. It's encouraging fleet operators to expedite this transition. Now, of that $75 billion, only a very small fraction is actually being spent on uh, EV incentives and EV subsidies. The majority of it's going to things like EV charging uh, and EV companies like this. So what are the benefits of wireless charging? Well. The Wave wireless system embedded in the road surface charges truck batteries efficiently during scheduled stops, eliminated downtime spent refueling. So for example, if you were driving your truck uh, routinely to a certain location and you're actually making a delivery there, you're gonna be sitting there for say 10, 20 minutes during that time, you, well, you have your battery fully charged. That's quite incredible. The speed and convenience of high power charging enables electric trucks to match the duty cycle of their fossil fuel counterparts. With no moving parts, the pavement embedded system requires low maintenance, ensuring high availability. In addition, the flush to the ground design reduces collision risks and eliminates the hazards of trips and falls associated with cables. There's a lot of advantages here. Are they better than cabled? Fast chargers, no. We already know that cabled fast chargers can provide up to 1.3 megawatts. It's a lot more than 500 kilowatt. But these will work incredibly well at lots of other locations. Wireless charging presents an ideal solution, say the company that designed this, of course, for fleet operators with vehicles on fixed routes, offering fully automated and unobtrusive high power charging during scheduled stops. But why stop there, guys? I mean, you can have a wireless charger in your garage with 500 kilowatt charging speeds. Could you? No, of course not. You don't have the infrastructure at home, your house for that. But wireless charging will eventually become a thing. In the same way that, you know, mobile phones, I mean, right now my mobile phone is connected via a cable. I usually charge by a cable, but I can, I can charge it wirelessly. Sometimes it is beneficial. And I think it's particularly beneficial for electric vehicles in gridlock. I think that's where this kind of charging system could be deployed really, really successfully. The technology enhances operational efficiency and allows for smaller batteries and fewer charges, reducing vehicle weight and costs. Wave charging is committed to ongoing development and deployment. And when you think about it, guys, this is the way I see it coming out eventually. Eventually, I think in gridlocked areas, um, companies will be able to see how much traffic is in a certain location for how long, they can then install these wireless charging pads under the road. Now you could use the app, you could turn it on and the app could say, hey, you're in a, you're in a spot now where you, if you want, you can charge, do you wanna charge? And you could say yes or no. And then you could, you could pay a fee. So rather than actually stopping, like you do at a gas station, having to drive out of your way, stop, get out of your car, stick the fuel tank pump into your car, you know, Go inside, pay for your pay for your fuel. That's going to take you time, right? Time and money. Rather than having to do that, you might be able to side sidestep all of that by simply having your vehicle drive or charge when you're driving or when you're sitting in gridlock traffic. That's what I think will eventually happen. What do you guys think? Let me know.
Bye-bye.